Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. This afternoon we're out in the shop working on the 1990 Crew Cab Ford. Uh, working on fixing the windshield track, or a channel, I should say. Had some leaks in this uh, that were coming around the windshield. Pulled the uh, glass out, ended up breaking the glass. You know, that's, uh, that's life, so anyways. Uh, this video is going to be fairly short. Uh, I'm just buttoning up this channel repair. Uh, when I pulled the glass out, I knew there was going to be some rust behind it. There, there was. There were no rust holes or anything, but some some mild pitting. So we uh, we took it down to bare metal and treated the treated the rust spots or where there was rust with uh, osphoric acid. And now we've gone back over it, cleaned it all back up. And last night we uh, put a skim coat of body filler over the light pitting. And I'm going to take uh, most of that back down to bare metal. So we're basically just fill in the little bitty dimples. And uh, after we get that done, I'm going to clean it up again and hit it with a 2K epoxy primer. And that'll pretty well have it prepped for the windshield guys to come out and drop a new windshield in it. Hopefully that takes care of all the leaks and issues I've been having. Uh, this thing's been leaking for the last three years. I'm surprised there wasn't more damage behind it than there was, but I'm thankful there wasn't. So, we'll get this buttoned up and, uh, yeah, get it done. Well, it's coming along. I've got uh, most of the little uh, pits and little low spots filled in and smoothed out. I'm gonna go along and uh, rough this whole area up again with some 100 grit. And then I'm gonna blow all the dust off of it and wipe it all down. Then hit it with some 2K epoxy primer. Probably give it a couple light coats and then uh, let it uh, set up for several days. Got a few days until uh, the glass shop comes, so uh, yeah. Well, just finished roughing up this uh, windshield channel. So uh, now all that's left is to blow all this dust out of here, get it all cleaned up. Get it wiped down and then get it ready to spray with the epoxy primer. I'll probably go on and knock some of this back a little bit and just uh, tape this off up here and just shoot the whole thing because come springtime this thing's going to be getting uh, getting painted anyways. So anyways. Okay. Got everything wiped down several times. Got all the dust cleaned up. And now I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna go over the whole area with a heat gun to make sure there's no moisture or anything left. And then here is our uh, epoxy primer I'm gonna be using. It's a two part deal. And uh, from, what I've, from what I've been reading, stuff works really well. And it should seal this channel up real nice. And I shouldn't ever have to worry about rust back in behind this channel again. Especially once the, uh, once the new windshield's put in, all sealed up, and I get the trim put back on. Shouldn't have to mess with this anymore, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go on and uh, heat this up and make sure all the moisture's out of it and get ready to spray it. Well, got our uh, first coat of primer just kind of thrown on here, and, uh, and that should probably do it. And if you're wondering why I didn't mask anything off or didn't care, that's because uh, here, hopefully this spring, I'm going to be sanding everything down, doing quite a bit of body work anyways, and we're going to be... Uh, we're gonna be respraying the truck. So 
I don't really care about the overspray on the paint and everything else. As you can tell, the, uh, the rattle can paint job on this thing isn't uh, holding up too well anyways. But then again, it's been on there five years now. So, yeah, we've got the, this truck's got a lot, uh, a lot going to be happening on this truck here in the next month, I'd say. And then uh, come springtime, we'll uh, be doing all the cleanup work. The uh, interior of this truck was pretty well done. Uh, it's got uh, Denali interior in it, which uh, had a, an upholstery shop redo. Uh, thankfully, my mom at the time was uh, had her own upholstery shop, so she knocked out the seats for me. And it, uh, they turned out really slick. They've got the IH logo stitched into the headrest. And uh, yeah, they're, they're really comfortable. But uh, we've got some other stuff to do on the interior. We're gonna build a console for it and some other things. But yeah, kind of bouncing all over the place. So uh, I'm gonna get off here for a little bit. Let this, uh, let this primer have a chance to flash over and then uh, come out and put another coat or so on it and see how it turns out. Well, I just got the final coat of the epoxy primer on, and uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out overall. So I think it's ready for the, uh, the windshield to be put in. Hopefully here in a few days they'll be out and uh, get it put in. And then I can uh, move on to something else. But, uh, yeah, everything's sealed up. Everything's smooth now. And... Uh, yeah, as you can tell, like I said, I'm not too worried about the overspray and stuff because uh, we're going to be respraying it here soon. We've got uh, new fenders for it sitting over there, new tires for it sitting over there. And I've got uh, all sorts of things to do to this truck here soon. Uh, we'll be cutting this front end out completely. New springs, new gears, every nut and bolt, every moving part, uh, all the steering linkage, steering box. Everything's getting replaced. Everything will be new. And, uh, yeah. So we re rebuilt the rear end in it uh, last year and re-geared it. So it's, uh, it's got 488s in the rear. So I need to get the front done so I can get the front drive shaft rebuilt and actually have four-wheel drive again. But, uh, yeah, it's coming along slowly but surely. And that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe.